This is Jean from the Adobo Test Kitchen, and I'm here to show you my version of the classic Filipino dish, Bistec Tagalog. I'm going to be preparing this dish on a charcoal grill. Here are the ingredients. 3 pounds boneless ribeye steak, a half a cup of soy sauce, half a cup of lemon juice, 2 large onions, 2 tablespoons olive oil, and some kosher salt to taste. All right, we can get started. So uh, traditionally sirloin steak is used, but uh, for this recipe, we're gonna be using ribeye steak. It has got more fat and uh, fat is more flavor. I got this from our HEB. That's a, uh, from those of you who are not from Texas, that is a, a chain of grocery stores here in Texas. And what we're going to do is we're going to add, liberally, add some kosher salt. Okay, I'm going to flip it over. Add salt to the other side. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to let the steaks rest for about an hour before cooking. So we're going to let the salt kind of sink in for an hour. So this is a tip that I got from watching a video from Harry Sue. Harry is uh, basically barbecue royalty and I'm going to add the link to the description. So this video shows like when to add salt to a steak. And you figured out, here's a spoiler, it's an hour. So now we're gonna slice the onions. Here's a little tip to make sure your chopping board doesn't slide. Put a wet towel, wet paper towel underneath. So that's gonna stay put. So here we have two large red onions that we're going to cut into thick slices. Okay, so I'm not going to bother to peel it because we're going to leave the skin on so that the onion slices stay put on the grill. So we're using a charcoal grill here. This is the 22-inch Weber kettle grill. Uh, you can use a, a gas grill if you want. And, and on top of it, we have these uh, grill grates from grillgrates.com. It's made out of hard anodized aluminum. It increases the grill temperature, it reduces flare-ups, and it gives awesome sear marks. So we're gonna, what we're going to do is we're going to get the grill to about 625 to 650 degrees. Now we're just going to add the grill, add the steaks to the grill. I'm going to put it in the two bottom position. Let's cover this up, and we're going to grill it for about five minutes per side, and we're going for medium rare. Okay, after about two and a half minutes, we're gonna rotate this about 90 degrees. So, yeah, this also came from grillgrate.com Okay, so five minutes is up. Let's go ahead and flip the steaks over. Alright, let's 
go ahead and put get the onions on the grill. Now it's time to flip the onions over. All right, so let that cook for five more minutes. After five minutes, the onion should be done. All right, so let's go ahead and slice the steaks. Let's bring this to the plate. So now we're going to take half a cup of soy sauce. To that we're going to add half a cup of lemon juice, then a couple of tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. Let's go ahead and mix that up. And then we're going to pour that on top of the meat. Now we're going to top and put the onions on up top right here. Okay, we are done. So here's my favorite part, the eating part. So let's go ahead and try this out. So whenever I go to a Filipino restaurant, I always order the beef stick as part of a combo. But it always turns out either oily or dry. Mm, it's not like this. It's come, it's come out really good. It's got a nice charred flavor. It's moist because I cooked it to medium rare and it's just a perfect mix, uh, mix of soy sauce and uh, lemon juice and um, just a little bit of olive oil. Oh my god it goes great with rice. And there you have it. Filipino beef stick Tagalog on the grill. Please make this at home and let me know what you think in the comments. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.